What's up guys, Coding Jesus here. Guys, in today's video, I wanna answer a question that I get on almost every video, in the comment section, in my one-on-one -on -one consulting, etc. And that is usually some variant of, am I too X for quant trading? X is whatever insecurity you have. It can be age, it can be height, it can be weight, I don't know, whatever insecurity that you have. I'm gonna be speaking, or actually taking as an example, age here because that's usually the one that I get most often, and I'm gonna be teaching you guys two ways to spin that perceived insecurity, whatever it may be, as an advantage as opposed to a disadvantage, and I'm gonna caveat those two methods at the end of this video. Let's start off, okay? Let's say, for example, you're 32 and you're saying, Coding Jesus has a ship sailed. Should I jump off this building? Should I go languish somewhere? Should I rot in a corner? I don't know what to do. Is it too late for me? All right? The answer is usually no, but it's usually only no if you can spin it in one or more ways, all right? The first approach that I would take to take that perceived disadvantage and actually get rid of the points you think you'd lose from that disadvantage in an interview is to differentiate yourself on another plane. Let me give you a practical example. You're 32, you just came out of a software engineering boot camp, and you're saying, well, other people are 22, they just came out of school, they have a degree in this. What can I do? I'm at a disadvantage. What you can do to get rid of that perceived or real disadvantage is differentiate yourself by building a portfolio of pet projects. You're an astute you know, YouTube watcher, you've watched Coding Jesus, you're a disciple, and you understand that 90% of people coming out of school do not have that portfolio of pet projects that they've worked on outside of class. So you're gonna come into the interview with a portfolio of two to three projects that show you're passionate, dedicated, committed, coachable, and somebody that takes initiative. Those are all key traits that people are looking for in candidates in the world of quant trading, and that'll really help you differentiate yourself from the pact. That's the first method that I would employ to help you get over that bump or that insecurity of am I 2 X for quant trading. The second method that I would use to get over that insecurity is I would understand that an interview is all about optics and how you spin yourself. And in doing so, think of ways to actually transform that perceived disadvantage to an advantage. Let me give you an example. Let's say you have 10 years worth of experience in risk management and you're transitioning to the world of software engineering, you've just come out of a boot camp. you're not insecure about your intelligence, you're confident about your skill set in software engineering, but you're telling me, you know, coding Jesus, I don't come from a relevant background, what can I do? Recognizing that an interview is all about optics and all about sales and spinning yourself, you can come into that and actually use that perceived experience disadvantage as an advantage. Let me give you an example. You can say, well, yeah, I don't come from a software engineering background, so applying for this position, I don't have as much experience as other candidates, but I do have experience in risk management. And what does that mean? It means that I have experience in a field that has some crossover, a lot of crossover in this case, with the world of quant trading. So I can speak the language of quant researchers. I can speak the language of uh, you know, risk managers. I can liaison with these other departments in a way that other software engineers can't. So I'm a more plug and play candidate. I can jump straight into things and, you know, uh, jump into it and you know my feet are already wet I can just start running all right another example might be uh, you know I don't have that industry experience at all maybe I was a customer service representative for 10 years but I showed you that I'm able to shift my career path mid mid uh, a career right so I was able to lock myself in a room and learn to code to a degree of proficiency that has allowed me to enter this interview process right and that means that I'm somebody that can persevere, I'm somebody that uh, can take initiative, I'm somebody that's flexible and that can transition and think on their feet quickly. And those are all important skills and important characteristics that you as an employer are looking for in a candidate. So as opposed to taking a risk on a candidate that's new, that's fresh out of school, that you don't really know whether this person can persevere, I have a track record of that because I was able to, in my case, lock myself in a room for three months and teach myself how to code. All right, usually, that sort of answer or that sort of spin comes out in an interview in the tell me why we should hire you question or tell me about a couple of your strengths question. So you're really only applying that answer to your weakness or you're taking your weakness and spinning it in light of a question like that to come up with an answer that makes you appear as a more attractive candidate. Now at the beginning of this video, I mentioned there's a caveat. What is that caveat? That caveat is guys, I can't answer this question for all of you. 
all right? Sometimes you just need to use your own common sense. So if your question is coding Jesus, am I too old for quant trading? And you're 82, you are one foot in the grave and you're literally like dying. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Maybe breaking into quant trading shouldn't be a priority. Maybe there are some other priorities in life that you should focus on. Or maybe there's some other things you should be doing. But I can't answer that question for you. Now, just as a more practical example for my own life, around two years ago, I was managing an intern class. There was two new interns that joined the firm. And one intern was actually older than me. He was 32 and I was 26 and I was managing him. But that intern was able to differentiate themselves in an interview by applying the exact same two tricks that I mentioned. I'm not even gonna call it a trick, it's a method. You're not tricking anybody. Right? The exact same two methods that I talked to you about, differentiation and leveraging experience in a more positive light, right? in order to land that position. So the insecurity is really something that's essentially in your head, barring the caveat that I mentioned that applies some common sense. All right? If you guys enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, yada, yada, you know, dislike, whatever, it's still engagement. Um, go ahead and follow me at The Coding Jesus on Instagram if you guys would like to see my life behind the scenes. I don't post anything quant related. I don't talk about quant there. Don't message me about quant. If you'd like to message me and speak to me about quant, you can either email me or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, preferably the one-on-one -on -one session. If you guys would like to watch this video early, you can do so by becoming a patron. Patrons only get, uh, also get access to my exclusive Discord, monthly calls, access to all my private code that I write that I post on my GitHub. So you guys get a lot of benefits and perks there. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hopefully it was something that's helpful. I see this question a lot, so I just really wanted to address it. Cheers.